Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video I'd like to talk about arthropods. What do all these animals have in common? Each of these animals are arthropods. Arthropods have several characteristics in common. First, they have an exoskeleton. Arthropods are invertebrates, which means they do not have a spinal cord which protects the central nervous system. Instead, they have a hard outer covering called an exoskeleton. Think of an exoskeleton like the outer body of a car or a suit of armor. The job of the exoskeleton is to give the arthropod support and protect important internal organs. Next, arthropods have segmented bodies. All arthropods have bodies composed of segments. For example, an insect has a head thorax and abdomen or three body segments. Spiders have only two body segments and centipedes have 20 or more segments. Next, arthropods have jointed appendages. Arthropods are famous for their appendages. Examples include the legs of spiders and the antenna of wasps. What makes arthropods unique is that the appendages have many joints. These joints allow the arthropods to move, jump, and even fly. Next, arthropods have bilateral symmetry. Arthropods look the same on each side. If you run a line from the head to the toe of an arthropod, it will look the same on each side. Most mammals also have bilateral symmetry. And finally, they have an open circulatory system. An arthropod has an open circulatory system, which means it uses cavities called sinuses that move the blood around the body. A closed system of circulation uses veins and capillaries in order to move blood throughout the body. Arthropods are everywhere. They are the largest animal phylum. There are over one million species of arthropods, and there is a huge variety. I hope this helps with the characteristics of arthropods. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.